for a system X would like a spawn striking up all the good things from the banks of candies and skating them down on the banks of things. Yes, these are the words of John Soloviev, President of Board of Revenue Madras. Yes, you got it. Our present topic is about the drain of wealth from India to Britain. One of the earliest propagators of drain of wealth theory was Dada Bai Naruji. In 1867, he put forward the idea that colonial rule was draining and bleeding India of its wealth. The two most important forms of drain were home charges and council bills, also called invisible charges. The British exported to Britain part of India's wealth and resources for which India got no adequate economic or material return. The drain of wealth from Bengal began in 1757 when company servants began to carry home immense fortunes extorted from Indian rulers, zamindars, merchants and the common people. The amount they sent home between 1757 and 1765 was more than four times the total land revenue collection of Nawab of Bengal in 1765. This amount of drain did not include the trading profits of the company, which were often no less illegally derived. In 1765, the company acquired Diwani of Bengal. It began to purchase Indian goods out of the revenue of Bengal and to export them. These purchases are known as investments. Thus, through investments, Bengal's revenue was sent to England. The trend took the form of an excess of India's exports over its imports for which India got no returns. The fact of drain of wealth at least from 1757 to 1857 was widely accepted by British officials. However, they now began to deny its existence after 1857. The wealth drained out of India played an important part in financing Britain's capitalist development, especially during the period of Britain's early industrialization. It has been estimated that it constituted nearly 2% of Britain's national income during that period. The trend was not limited to just money or goods, but had wider ramifications for India. The trend frustrated employment opportunities in India and also that of investment. 